name is Bob Yates, and I too am running for judge. Uh, there were some comments about the bar rating system, and I want to talk about that for a moment. Uh, the lawyers of the bar were given three categories, <coughs> highly qualified, qualified, not qualified. When you add the total qualified and highly qualified, for me, I tied with the top. And I had the least not qualified of any candidate. But truly, what the bar results showed was that all four candidates, by a wide margin, were qualified to be judged, which I think is good news for all of you because it gives you options, it gives you choices. The best qualifier of all will be the voters. Let me take a few minutes to tell you what, those, what my qualifications are. I'm a lifelong <coughs> resident of Mercer County. I've been a lawyer for 30 years. I've handled all of the cases that come before our courts, criminal and civil. I've defended criminal cases up to and including murder. I've prosecuted cases up to and including murder. I'm still involved with the district attorney's office as a special assistant, taking on special assignments on an as-needed basis. I'm very proud of my service to the district attorney's office, the chance to work with law enforcement, to look out for the rights of victims is very important to me. I also, in my civil practice, uh, represent uh, plaintiffs, defendants, businesses, individuals. I've handled all the civil cases that come before the courts, including domestic. But what are cases? They're people. It's the people that need the courts. And I believe I know the people <coughs> and what their needs are. Not just criminal defendants, whose rights are very important in our system, but also the victims, and the fathers, and the children, and the mothers. And I'm ready to serve them. I also know the people of Mercer County through my community involvement. In my 30 years, I've been involved in any number of community organizations, civic groups, nonprofits, many times acting uh, in a leadership capacity. What's good about that is not only the good works that those groups do, but you get to know the people and what their needs are, and what the courts can do to service those needs. Lastly, I think I have the proper temperament to be a judge. Bench is not a place for bluster, for arrogance. You need someone who's calm, who can listen to both sides of the argument, and act fairly and impartially. I may be soft-spoken, but I will never be bullied. I will never be pushed around. I will treat people as I was taught to treat everyone with courtesy and respect. And I promise to do that as your judge. Thank you.